with a Broadwith Ash in the Swiss Alps, as you can tell, what better time to do a review of our trip than right here in a gondola when we have it all to ourselves. <laughs> yes. A Broadwith Ash, take it away, please. All right, so we started in Chamonix, France. Um, loved Chamonix, exceeded expectations, didn't really know it existed. Jake found it because he saw that you could climb Mount Blanc from there. So it's in the French Alps. Um, the town was adorable, very walkable, easy to get to a lot of hikes. We didn't have a car, lots to do. So it's like I went to a glacier, I went up to the Agua de Midi point, which is 12,600 feet up elevation. Um, there was just so much to do, great trip. Because it was in France, the food was great. And it was, yes, it's expensive because you're in the Alps, but it wasn't crazy expensive. Um, overall, I had a great time. We definitely 100% see ourselves going back maybe sometime in fall. And so now we're in Jungfrau, Switzerland, the Swiss Alps. Gorgeous, stunning. The towns are insane. We're staying in Grindelwald, a very cute little town. Overall, Jungfrau seems much more touristy. How are the hikes? Talk well, about the hikes. I'll talk about the hikes, but Jungfrau seems much more touristy than Chamonix. So in Chamonix, it kind of felt like a very European crowd. Yeah, you have people from all over the world, but it was Germans, Italians, French, kind of everybody. Um, Jungfrau, it definitely seems like this region caters to Asian tourists. I think maybe this region was in some movies or something that made it really popular. Um, so much more crowded. There's a lot more situations where we'll come across tour groups with like 50 plus people in them. Also, in the Swiss Alps, the food isn't as good and it's much more expensive than Chamonix. So I feel like in Chamonix, you can get similar experiences, similar hikes, go up to really high viewpoints for half the price. Um, so the hikes in Jungfrau, stunning, absolutely stunning. Some difficult ones, um, some medium level ones, but like the views were just insane. I think we hiked, what, 10 miles yesterday? I mean, it was stunning. But overall, we love both. Both places have exceeded our expectations. I think after this trip, it's really encouraged us to want to explore more of the Austrian Alps, the French Alps, and the um, Italian Alps. But anything I missed, Jake? Anything you want to add? Yes, what do we hear outside and talk about that? Oh, so one thing that's amazing about the Swiss Alps are the Swiss cows. They, I mean, you're hiking in the middle of nowhere on the top of a mountain, and you hear these bells jingling because all the bells or the, all the cows have their giant bells on them so they don't get lost. Um, and they're so friendly and they're so cute. And so you're out here all by yourself and you come across like a herd of Swiss cows. They're everywhere. So that is a huge plus here. What about the transportation? Maybe talk about that too. Transportation. So like a lot of towns in the Jungfrau region, you can't even get a car up there. So we're in Grindelwald which you can have a car in, but like Murin, um, Lauter, Lauterbrunnen, do they have cars? You can have a car in Lauterbrunnen, but like Murin, Wengen, you can't even have a car. So you have to buy a Jungfrau travel pass, which I think our three day pass was 190 Swiss franc. Um, like Chamonix, I wish we had a car in Chamonix because you can pretty much get everywhere you need to be with a car, unlike the Swiss Alps. So again, like if I did, when we do Chamonix again, we'll get a car next time, but it's kind of hard to have a car in this area. Shopping, maybe talk about that in Jungfrau. A uh, very expensive, yeah. everything is very expensive. And since it's on the Swiss franc, like right now the Euro is like $1 equals like, no, one Euro equals no, one dollar equals you know, one euro, 10 cents, right? So here, I think it's like the Swiss franc, it's like 1.15, so it's a little bit more expensive and it's priced higher to begin with. So you don't really wanna be buying anything here. That's the review. Okay.